So let's log in. So we would have a login like you're used to seeing from before. Your database name is now going to be down here by just clicking the first time here on the word database. We have a database called GPS to go test. And then you would put in your secure password. So I'm going to put in our password. Okay. And now we can log in and we can have a, a look at that. So we just hit the word log in. And our screen is going to brighten up as you're used to seeing. Here we go. And you're going to land on a page that's very similar to what you're used to seeing before, but with some nice changes. So these dashboards, you're used to seeing that kind of thing. Let's do uh, the usual stuff of saying, hey, where are my vehicles? So if I click on the word map, the map of North America is going to open up. We'll wait till that refreshes. There we go. Nice and crystal clear. Now, if I want to find a vehicle, right, all of your GeoTab devices all start with the letter G as far as the serial numbers go. So an interesting little side note, if I just put the letter G into that, my vehicles will come up. So if I want to see where a vehicle is, just double click on it. The map is going to refresh. And here we see our vehicle down here. Again, you can still hover over it and get information. Stop for four hours, date and the time, etc., etc. So we see that it stopped. We see a square that represents a stop inside of a regular stop with no special zone. Now, something new, you used to have your trip and activity report on this side. Well, now your trip's history report is now available up here. So if we just click on the words trip history, if I want to see the trip history for Ottawa home for this time, so I just click on that and it's going to show us the previous stop. So this is the first place that it, the vehicle left from. Here's where it ended up. Now here's something really new which is great. Your breadcrumb trail. You'll remember we used to have all of those differently spaced arrows which were great and when you hover over those you would get the individual speed and information at that point in the trip. Well now you'll see the little pink circle is moving and as I move that along it tells me the different speeds that we're going right so you see 74 70 69 74 let me just zoom in a little bit same idea as before you just double click on the map or use your scroll wheel so if I mouse over that Ottawa home 63 kilometers an hour 62 61 so our accuracy and our ability to tell you what was going on during the different parts of the trip has gotten even better if I click on the word options now we have our time filter like you were used to seeing before your custom filter and everything is still in here 